Hello, my fourth grade friends. Today we are doing Unit 2, Lesson 8, which is on page 61 of your book. Thank you for joining me. In the past couple lessons, we were exploring some different ways to represent multiplication problems, especially when you have like a two-digit uh, factor. One of your factors is two digits. So there's the place value sections where in each section inside your model, you're putting your partial products. In the expanded notation method, rather than writing it inside the boxes over here, you're doing it off to the side and then setting up your addition problem like that. Um, the distributive property is talking about giving something to everybody, right? Passing things out, making sure everybody gets what they need. And you use that when you're doing the algebraic notation method, which is really setting up a... Um, one factor next to a parentheses that has the different, like the expanded form of the other factor, and then given, giving each of those pieces, um, multiplying them by that first factor, the single digit one, and then adding up those partial products. Now, that sounds very fancy. They're all kind of the same. They are basically just different ways to approach the same idea. So. You have uh, used the area model to help you multiply. In this lesson, you will compare the numerical multiplication methods that are related to this area model. So we just talked about place value sections. That's when you're putting that inside each section. Expanded notation is when you're writing out on the side your 30 plus 7 over here, and then multiplying 4 times the 30, you get your 120. 4 times the 7, you get your 28. Your partial products are the same. The 120 and the 28 are the same. Um, but then you just add them up now that you've stacked them nicely over here. Very similar. And then over here, the algebraic notation method. This is how you'll probably see it most often in later grades and stuff. This is what a lot of adults right now are more comfortable using rather than something like this kind of model. So it's good to be familiar with all three. Um, and so here you have broken your 37 into 30 and 7, and you've put it in parentheses, and then you're multiplying the 4, distributing the 4 to the 30, distributing the 4 to the 7, finding your partial products, adding them together. Right? It's all familiar. Now we're going to connect these multiplication methods, refer to the examples above, as we have done. What two values are added together to give the answer in all three methods? What do we call those? I mentioned them a few times in this already. It's not the full product, it's the partial product, right? A piece of the full product. So, the partial products. Now, what is different about these three methods? What is the big difference here? It's really... I mean, I know what I think. I want you to think about what you think. What is the biggest difference? When you're ready to hear me, hit play, but hit pause if you want to think about it more. Okay. I think the big difference is uh, just where and how you write out the equation to find the partial products. Everything else is the same, pretty much. So, where and how you write out equations to find the partial products. Okay. Now we will practice each of those methods filling in the blanks. So let's take a look at number three. We're dealing with uh, four times 86. So doing that with expanded notation, we're turning 86 into something plus six. What's the something? It's 80, right? 80 plus six is 86. And the four is equal to what? Just four. Now the first thing we'll multiply is four times that, um, the, the larger place value, so 4 times 80. What's 4 times 8? 32. 
What's four times eight tens? 32 tens, which is also known as 320. And then what times six is 24? It's the four times six, right? And then we're gonna add those up. Now, I wish they had lined this up nicer, so I'm just gonna put 24 right there so I don't mess it up. Zero plus four, four. Two plus two, four. Three plus nothing, three. Now, the algebraic notation, remember we're talking about passing things out to everybody. Four times 86, we'll have our four right here. And we're gonna pass that to the 80. We'll get the 320. Continue passing it on to the six. Four times six is 24. Add those up, we just did that a second ago. 344, okay? Four times 68, expanded notation. So what equals 60 plus eight? 68. Four equals what? Four. Now, what do I put in here? Think about it. What did we do up here? We took our tens place number and then we found the product right using what we know about multiplying things by tens so four times 60 so what's four times six 24 so four times six tens is 24 tens also known as 240 and then four times eight is 32 and let's add those up i'm going to do the same thing right under here so i don't mess it up zero plus two two three plus four Seven. Two plus uh, nothing. Two. Okay. And then over here, our algebraic notation, we have the same thing. We're just breaking the 68 into place value chunks like expanded form. So 60 plus 8. 4 times 60 is that 240. 4 times 8 is 32. Add them up. 272. Now, we're going to practice. If you're feeling good, you can go ahead and try these. Try using a model. Um, I'm gonna use my whiteboard for this because I don't really see enough space down here. So, five times 60. Five times 60, well, five times six is 30. So five times 60 is 30 tens or 300. And then five times four, five times 20 is 20. Add those up, 320. All right, that was the place value model. Now for this one, I'll do six times 70 plus two. So six times 70. Six times seven. This one was hard for me when I was a kid. Six times seven is 42. So 42 tens, 420. Six times two is 12. So add that to the 420. Two, three, four. 432. Let's do the expanded notation one for this one. Okay, so seven, so 92 times 7. So then we're going to take 92, 90 plus 2. 7 down here. Then we're going to do 7 times 90. What's 7 times 90? Seven times nine is 63. Seven times 90 is 630, 63 tens. Seven times two is 14. Add them up. Four, four, six. 644. All right. If you did these ones with me, I want you to go ahead and be brave. Try these ones that don't have me, or without me, and then I'll correct them with you. Eight times 50 plus three, eight times 50. 
times 5 is 40, so 40 tens times 3, 24, so that's just 424. Five, let's do the 46 times five. So 40 plus six, five. Five times 40. Well, it's five times four. 20, right? So then 20 tens, 200. Uh, five times six, 30, 230. Last one, are you ready? We can do it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna use this on the wrong board. Okay, so six times 20 plus seven, six times 20, six times two, 12. So 12 tens for, for 20. So 120, and then six times seven, that was one we just did earlier, 42. So 120 plus 42, two, six, one, 162. All right, my darling, so go ahead, see if you have an assignment. I'm hoping that you're feeling proud of yourself because you're getting used to using these, uh, multiplication strategies and it's going great. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye everybody.